escape the rumors. We are at Lockout Austin, and um, we're excited to try their room out called CSI Murder at the Asylum. Oh my gosh, that sounds like <laughs> some horrible theme here. But anyways, we're gonna see if we're gonna be escaping from that. Let's check it out. They're open. Hey, Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. We are at Lockout Austin, and I'm with Byron. Byron, how are you? Good. Good so well. Byron is one of the owners of this incredible location. We just tried their room, CSI, Murder at the Asylum. We weren't alone, so we had some help from some other people, which were, they were very helpful. We had a really good time with But them. you solved the murder? Uh, we did, were we you did. Were successful? All right. I believe we had 12, 12 minutes left, no, it's good. 11 to 12 That's minutes good. left. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool room. So let's talk about that. Do you guys design your rooms? Like it's all built in-house or? We do. So we're, we're proud that we've been able to design our own rooms. And actually over the last several years, we've been able to involve a lot of our staff. So mm -hmm. the first few rooms were mostly owner driven, coming up with the ideas, building the puzzles, implementing. But we've had a number of long-term staff that have been with us years that, are, that love puzzling, they love gaming, and they love escape rooms. And we thought, well, why not right. use them as a resource? Who better than they ask you exactly. that actually love? <laughs> that, that love the games and that are here day after day running the rooms as game masters mm -hmm. and seeing where what are the things that you know gamers love right. and what are the things that frustrate you know gamers so why why fo you know focus on the things that people love right. and so that their their part has been invaluable in our process of developing the last few rooms and and CSI was one of the ones that we had a number of staff that were involved in helping with the puzzle design and the layout and the flow and so it was really a mixture of owners and some of our staff that that's great I think a lot of uh, locations and, and companies should start doing that because you know because you're, you're training the gamers, the uh, game masters anyway, so they kind of know exactly how to give you what you need. Exactly. There. Exactly. That's what we found early on is that as the owners, we, we built you know, our very first room. It was actually in my house. We, we cleared out a room so before we had a brick and mortar location. Mm -hmm. And so then we, we set up and, and we were operational. Well, the staff that we hired, they were running enough rooms and they started suggesting things. And we thought, that sounds like a good suggestion. So yeah. we just early on said, hey, let's trust the people that are running our rooms, that you know, they're enthusiasts too, they're experts right. at this. And so that's become a great relationship for us and, and our staff are just fantastic. Okay. So let's talk about CSI. Um, where did that concept come from in terms of the storyline? Uh, well, I, I kind of got some info from you on the puzzle creation, but what about the storyline, the set design, and all of that? Where did that come from? Sure. So the the inspiration was to to create a, a, a little bit slightly different experience from an escape room, mm -hmm. right? Most of them, you're you you need to escape, or you need to stop a bomb, or you need to do you know those are a lot of the common ones, especially you know three four years ago as, right. as the industry was just getting going. So we thought, well, what's something that we could do? that's a little bit different, still within the same theme. And so that, that one is a little bit different because you're trying to determine who did the murder. So right. you're not really escaping anything necessarily. Well, not yet. <laughs> not yet, right, right. But so that's that's kind of the basic premise of, of, of the CSI room. A murder has occurred and you need to find out who did it mm -hmm. is, is really your primary goal. And so it's using puzzles, but it's using puzzles in a you know deductive reasoning right. perspective. So that's, you know, kind of the inspiration was, well, let's create something that's a little bit different than, you know, our very first room was a bomb room. Everyone does the bomb room, yeah. right? Oh, the bomb it's gonna go off and you got time to yeah, yeah. yeah. Crush it. exactly and so that was fun but we thought you know so we're really mindful of the of the rooms that we open to try to be either unique in the theme or providing a unique experience that's right. different than you know what some of the other rooms are doing yeah I think a lot of times when we're looking for rooms that we really enjoy the storyline is always very important and then being involved as a character in that right. storyline right. just makes it so much better exactly <laughs> and, and and we're on the same page you know we, we, our our mindset is certainly you know the the customer coming in the door what's mm -hmm. their experience going to be in, in creating the atmosphere and creating you know them as one of the characters right. in the story yeah right. so when did lockout open 
So we've been open, it'll be four years at the end of this month. Oh, congratulations. So four years, wow. Four years. Four years <laughs> we've had, we've been, this is our third location, so we've kind of grown and expanded, and our, our first location just had two rooms, our second location, four rooms. Okay. This one, we have five up and running. Where are the other for locations? A six. So the, the first location was just across town. It wasn't too far from here. Okay. And then our second location was actually next door to here. But then this space became available, and it enabled us to build the escape room that we wanted. Right. So both of our first two locations, we were in predefined spaces, and we didn't have a lot of flexibility mm -hmm. in room in designing the layout of the rooms and the, the lobby layout, the, you know, the um, control room, the, you know, some of those other aspects. And this week, it was basically a blank shell wow. that we were able to build. And so we moved into this location about a year and a half ago. Okay. And you, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but so you have five rooms currently and you're yes. working on a six? Well, we have space for a six okay. room. And it would be a smaller room, so our idea is maybe a two-person room. I know that that's, there's not a lot of escape rooms offer that, but it's something that we're interested in. We get a lot of two-person rooms, yeah. and it's kind of difficult if you're, a room is designed for six or eight people for two people to come in and really have an enjoyable experience. Yeah. But there's some people that they want to do that, and they want to be the only people in there. You should do like a date night. Thing. Well, that's exactly <laughs> what we're thinking. And we kind of focus it on, it's a date night room, and that's what we, that's what we call it, mm -hmm. and we have an idea for it, but it's just with all the other rooms and all the other things we've been doing, it, it has been high on our priority list. But now that we have our newest room open, that's one of the next things. Tell them what the newest room is. So our newest room that we opened is called Area 51 2, which Austin's area code, for those of you that aren't familiar, is 512. Mm -hmm. So the, the theme is you have inherited a alien gift shop from your uncle who lived in Austin and got to figure out well, what's going on with the alien gift shop and you have an hour to figure out what's going on with the gift shop and I don't want to give too much more away um, but we're, we're really proud of it and it's and we've talked about doing an Austin themed room mm -hmm. and having a lot of Austin elements and Austin icons right. in it and so this is one way that we we did it. Any chance this is based off of real life? This is a real story. Like you I can neither experience. confirm <laughs> nor deny. <laughs> well, any of that. <laughs> drawing from real experience is always the best way to put out something that feels really authentic. And, but that's like from left field. I'm like, how, you know, is this coming from something real? Who knows? <laughs> well, that brings me to my next and last question. What to expect from Lockout moving forward and that you can tell us. So, so you have room for a sixth room. Still working on that. Anything else? Expansion, swapping out rooms, outdoor events? So that, that's a great question. We as owners have kind of talked about some, you know, what, what would be the next things that we would tackle? We, we're very happy with all of our rooms. And as everyone in the industry knows, it is a lot of work yeah. to open up new rooms. And we've opened up three in the span of the last year plus, which wow. has just been exhausting for all of us at Lockout. And so we would like to focus on some other things. So one of the things we talked about was the, the two-person room, mm -hmm. um, the date night room. We also would love to have a mobile version. So our we're located in a strip. I'm pointing out here as if all of you can <laughs> see it. By yeah. the way, there is we're, plenty of parking. We're, we're, we're located <laughs> in a strip center. Yeah, plenty of parking outside. One of the things that happens is down, down the... Um, strip center from us is a very popular brunch place called mm -hmm. Snooze, which is based out of Denver. They recently opened in Austin. So there are lots of people that are here on Saturday and Sunday mornings waiting in line for brunch. And so one of our ideas is to have a mobile escape something that we could take out on a beautiful fall day in Austin, Texas. And as you're waiting for your brunch, get your brain going. Yeah, that's and awesome. so that, that's one of our ideas. Um, and then you could also obviously take that other places. Right. We also have our, our rooms that we aren't running anymore. We have three rooms that we've retired. Um, but one of our ideas is to turn them into mobile versions okay. and then be able to take them to events or birthday parties or, you know, and a, 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 anything a, that requires. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. anything that says, hey, let's have an escape room here. Yeah. So that's one of our ideas of how to, you know, turn those brick and mortar rooms into a mobile room that you could set up. Why anywhere. let it go to waste? I mean, exactly. We love all the ideas. Right. They were time to transition new rooms in there, but mm -hmm. we could still use the ideas and the building blocks of those rooms and turn them into something else. So those are some of the ideas that 
we've been throwing around. All right, well, you guys have to stay tuned and visit their website for updates because I feel like there's a lot that's on the horizon coming from Lockout. Well, thank you so much, Byron. Absolutely. We had an amazing time it's trying out CSI Murder at the Asylum. You'll see the review for that on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get exclusive content of what we've been doing here at Lockout. Take care.